Good morning, guys. Get this all turned on. Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. <laughs> I have to think about the day every single time. Um, yeah, so today, a cute little bookshelf for our sweet little witch this week. Um, the cup we did yesterday, and then we did a hat on on Monday. Um, and then the rest of the week we've got, and then a witch will be on Saturday. It will be pre recorded. And Sunday's our school. Start a new week next week. Um, so, yeah, so this is exciting. This is a fun one. Um, this is our image. So you can see it has about four books, two upright, two laying down. And then it has a little pumpkin and some mushrooms. Um, on the original image, good morning, Jan. Um, on the original image, there's a plant in this area instead of a pumpkin and some mushrooms. So you definitely could put a plant there instead. Um but I figured for, since it's Halloween or kind of doing Halloween, um, I went ahead and put a pumpkin with some mushrooms. So, but I feel like this cutter could be used, you know, a lot of different ways. So I did go ahead and flood this one white um, just because I wanted to be able to see the, all the colors and use all the colors. I feel like when I use a background color, I'm not able to use that color in the actual image because it will just blend in too much. So since this set really only has four colors in general, there's a couple extras, but I wanted to make it white. So you could do it black too. That would look very, it would bring out a lot um, in the background. So it's up to you, whatever color, if you wanted to make it. Um, I did use my scribe to just dent the icing. This was done last night, uh, but you can see it's still a little wet so i just took my scribe and i just kind of dent it just to kind of give me a little bit of a guide you can always take your scribe and just trace like a line you could use a marker um, but denting i feel like does it for me uh thanks cindy yeah so if you guys ever want to watch all of these facebook at least not on this page um doesn't allow me to put a playlist anymore unless it's hidden somewhere that I don't know where it's at. We all know Facebook changes things all the time. So if there's a playlist, I'll, you know, if someone knows how to get to it, I used to be able to get to it really easy, but now since we've gone over to the meta business suite, I can't find it. So if you want to find all of these videos in a more concise place where you can look, uh, go over to YouTube, on my YouTube channel, CR Confections, they're all listed under the 31 days of Halloween 2023. So that way you can see all of them. Um, I think the only one I haven't uploaded is the Scarecrow from last Friday. So, and I don't know why I didn't upload that one. Whatever. <laughs> so that's a better place to find them all in one place. Again, if there's a place on Facebook that you can do the playlist, it would be nice to know where that's at now. So in thinking about this cookie and like being able to work progressively, like the way I want it, um, or in a timely manner, I want to do this book first. And then I want to do this book. And then after 30 minutes to an hour, I want to come back and do this book and this book, and I can work on the pumpkin. Okay. So that's kind of the, the method to what I would do or how I would work it so that I could utilize my time wisely. So I'm just going to create these books real quick for you just to kind of show you how I would do that. Okay. All right. Everybody's having a good Wednesday so far. It's super nice out this week. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like fall weather. It's more like spring. It's in the 70s. It's been lovely to go on walks lately because it's just kind of a nice temperature. You don't necessarily have to have a jacket even at night. Just been kind of a nice 
Nice temperature. I'd love for it to be a little colder, but we all know how that goes. The more you, I know it's about to get cold and then I'll be like, I want it warm again. <laughs> And you could do anything to these books if you wanted to. Um, good morning, Michelle. So this one has like a little rectangle. I'm not going to drop that rectangle in right now. I'm actually going to wait and put it in later. Um, you can totally do that if you wanted to. So this book, I'm going to do a purple, like a dark purple. And I tried to think about if I'm going to make this book Whatever this book and this book are, can't really go with the peachy color. So I can't use the peachy color right here on these, on these because they're right next to the pumpkin, basically. And that looks a little lopsided, so we're gonna draw it up just a little bit. That's better. All right, I'll get this one flooded and this one doesn't have anything. I know there's some writing on there. That's just my own handwriting. I'm trying to remember what to, what colors to put where. Because sometimes my brain doesn't work all that well in remembering, even though I just told myself what I was doing. All right, and you could definitely do these books all the same color. You could do all sorts of different, you could do polka dots if you wanted to on these books. You could make them textured with different um, parchment paper squares. If you have some of the fun um, parchment paper that's textured, you could definitely put just little ones on here and let them set and then peel them off and do the next one. Um, so once I got it to this situation I would let it sit because then I can come back and work on the rest of the cookie and be a beneficial or you know like efficient with my time. So I have one already done. I have one already done. The magic of television. Ta -da. Okay so I've moved on a little bit um, more than what I had done. So I did go ahead and kind of dirty up our background again just like we did with the coffee cup. It was white or the teacup it was white. So I kind of dirtied it up a little bit. Um, same thing here. I just dirtied it up around the corners. I dirtied up some of the books, but you can't really tell them on camera. And really, honestly, the only one I can tell I dirtied up was this one. So you can't, it doesn't really do anything because the colors are so dark. So um, I did go ahead and put the lavender book in here. And I wrote the word spells. And then I did go ahead and put our little rectangle for our other book um, and you can do whatever you want to on um you could write anything on this book um i just lost my train of thought so i'm just gonna write witchcraft i think it's dry enough oh maybe not nope it's not but it's actually okay because it looks kind of messed up. So if I can fit the word craft in there. <laughs> it's very tender. All right, so we're the word witchcraft. Um, I don't mind it in that so much that it kind of looks spunkier, that it's kind of, you know, um, blotchy. Really. It's a book. It's an old book. It's passed down from generation to generation. So it should look like that, right? All right. So now we can do this little book. A plethora of icing over here. I think it took me literally a day to go back to having so much icing. <laughs> so much icing. So much. I'm prepping for a show that's next weekend and so all the all the all the halloween colors had to be made okay so this one is just going to come out a little bit farther okay 
Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and create that top line, even though you don't really have to. I, I for some reason, feel like it helps with that, like, division between those two bones. So we're going to flood this one. And this one has some lines on it, so I'm just going to use the dark green that we used for the other book. I'm going to use that to create those lines in this book. And I'm going to go ahead and sink them down. If you wanted to leave them up or if you want to come back after and make them a little bit more prominent, you definitely could. So I'm just going to come in here. We're going to put two lines just like on the clip art. And since these are detail glaze, they will set up a little bit, but they're not going to set up a whole lot. They're, they're going to sink down, you know, a little bit. Um, I'll keep that one I think I'm going to do the stem on the pumpkin with that dark green. Or I could do black, I guess, the stem. And then I could do a little hmm. Thoughts change all the time. All right, so now I'm going to use this peachy color that we used back on nothing so far. We haven't used it on anything, have we? No, we have not. So we're going to make this just a little peachy pumpkin. And the pumpkin is going to sit right here. It's going to be more of a tall pumpkin. So I definitely wanted to kind of start here and go up and over and be more of a tall pumpkin. And it's setting, so I don't really have to worry so much about um, that. If you wanted to like make it bigger, you could. You just kind of, I just kind of usually take my bag and just push it out a little bit, right? You can always correct it, you know, make your shape a little bit more circular if you wanted to. So now I'm going to fill it. And you can do sections if you want to. Um, I think I worked on the ghost sucker and the pumpkin sucker talking about sections. So you can definitely work on sections if you want to. I'm not going to work on sections on this pumpkin. Um, sometimes like this cookie, I feel like, has a lot going on. It has all these books going on. It has all of this stuff, like, happening in the actual cookie. So I feel like sometimes you can kind of not go that extra mile because you already have so much going on. Uh oh This is still that. I use semi-sweet um, semi -sweet mics recipe and I love the taste of them but they definitely I didn't I didn't do it right and they spread so I'm trying to correct that. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I did go ahead and make the mushrooms. I hope they come off. So I made them as little transfers. I just eyeballed these. Um, but I feel like I could probably stick them on. If I wanted to I could use a darker orange. I do have a dark orange uh, detail glaze. It's quite, it's quite big. So I could, if I wanted to, I could go in and put some lines on the pumpkin right now before I put on the mushrooms. So the cookie is just his apple, spiced apple. He uses those spiced apple packets the like drink packets. My kids absolutely love those. Well, let's, let's not lie. I like them too. So we usually have them in the house. Um, so it's like that spiced apple cider. Um, if you look on Semi Sweet Mike, if you look on his website, he has all of the, he has those recipes. They're pretty, uh, his recipes are really tasty and they're pretty easy. The only thing is, is like what I didn't do, which, um, didn't let it chill. 
obviously y'all know I'm not a patient person when it comes to cookies. I want to get it done. And his recipes require, I think, two separate chills. So I would follow them. They turn out fine, um, but if you follow them, they're not gonna they're not gonna spread. <laughs> All right, so just do some lines on that pumpkin. Could make it a jack o' lantern if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to kind of hopefully peel off my little mushrooms in one piece. And then I'm just going to stick those on using this icing that's already wet. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that either. I have learned my lesson at this point in time. So I'm going to do a mushroom here. And really, honestly, once you stick these on, once you kind of do this, there's really nothing else that you can do if they're not in the right place. Try and decide. I think I want to go this way. I have it on the picture going the other way, but I think I want to go this way. Ah, so cute. So cute. Okay. So now... I'm going to use icing on my shirt. Shocking, right? So now I'm going to create this stem for the pumpkin. And I'm going to use the black. And it's up to you how you want to create your stem. I know the stem on the picture is like a thicker square stem, but I'm just going to kind of create a more what I use for my pumpkins usually. It's kind of a curved textured stem. Okay. And then I think I'm going to use this light green. Uh, no, I'm going to use the dark green. I'm going to use the dark green and I'm going to create kind of like a curly thing through the pumpkin. So I'm just going to kind of drop in just to kind of just give it a little bit of attention there. And you could definitely go back through and outline all of these books if you wanted to. Um, I don't necessarily know if they need it. You could write um, another word over here if you wanted to, and um, probably will do that. And then you could leave one of the books blank, or you could put words on all the books. It's totally up to you, but this is our little which is bookshelf. You could go back in and paint the pumpkin and kind of shade it if you wanted to. So you could make this a moon instead of a pumpkin or a plant. You could put a moon background. That would be cute. So hope you guys enjoyed today. Super cute. Nice little addition to our witches set for this week. Um, I hope you guys have a good Wednesday and tomorrow we're going to work on the jars, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm trying to do a little new technique. We'll see if it works. Fingers crossed it does. It works in my head. <laughs> so therefore it should work on a cookie, right? Um, so yeah, so you guys have a good Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye guys.